65. Huh, sounds more like a senior citizen's horror movie, which actually might be a crazy mind-bending acid trip. If nobody lets M. Night Shammy get his hands on the screenplay. 65, the new Adam Driver movie about a man on a mission to find a new home for humans. Ends up 65 million years ago on Earth. But the fact it's on Earth is supposed to be a titty twister of a shot. Unless you've watched the trailer. <laughs> Adam playing a man named Mills fights his way through this alien planet. Trying to find survivors and make sense of where he is. There's breathable air, drinkable water, and enough vegetation to choke a donkey. We happen upon a sole survivor of the 38 passengers in Mills' space taxi. A girl on a flight of scientists looking for a new planet to call home. A teenage girl. Why? Who would have the fate of the world in their hands and have their teenage daughter tag along? We all know how much fun it is just living with these little moody shits, let alone travel across the galaxy, gritting through their sarcasm and... You're not my mommy anymore. Storylines. Gotta have a driving force for the movie, I guess. Holy shit. I'm starting to peel back the new shiny coat of paint they slapped on Aliens 2 and seeing a cute parallel movie here. Actually, it feels more like a sequel prequel to Will Smith's romp in the jungle after Earth. Stranded on Earth with a teenager fighting monsters with laser guns. I see what you're trying to do, movie. Not gonna trick me. So, he finds said girl and starts trying to survive these monsters or dinosaurs and await help. The end. <laughs> Well, at least for the trailer. I've been rolling this idea around in my head for a movie now for years. I'm sure it would make some people lose their mind or shoot up their favorite cafe if it ever came out, but here it is. Having the same sort of premise as 65, and it made me think 65 might actually be it coming to flourishing before my very eyes. At least until I read the synopsis and was deflated flatter than Granny's chest. See, I wanted people from the future to crash on an ancient earth, looking for a place to call home. The leading man would be named Adam, and the leading lady, Evelyn. They are forced to make this alien planet home, along with the rest of the survivors, and as the movie would travel down the twisted road of Hollywood pizzazz, we reach the end, with their descendants talking of two leaders who guided their ancestors through a perilous journey after losing their home. Eden, another planet, and the story of Adam and Eve making way for the rest of us would be an origin story for the history books. Oh wait, well now, tell me that wouldn't be a twist ending and shocker, but I don't think Hollywood has the balls to tackle a twist on a Bible story of that magnitude, unless 65 is that movie. Tell me if I'm wrong when you go catch it, March 10th. Until next time, I'll catch you in the credits. That's how you fill those seats. You're welcome, Raimi. You and I are gonna get home. Home? Finally. Ready?